Right, ready to go. She came one day and said, Mom, I tried out for football and I made it. And I said, you understand that this is a contact sport, right? Isabella Green not only understands the sport, she's dominating on the offensive line. Uh, when I saw her come in for equipment pickup, uh, she walked in, she was like, I played last year, and I was like, great, you know, and I look at her walking through the gym, I was excited. Uh, she told me she played offensive line, so that even made me more happy because she was able to uh, help us at the last scrimmage. This is Green's second year playing football at Bush Middle School. The eighth grader is a force to be reckoned with. Not only is she a strong athlete, she's winning in academics too. I'm actually very proud of her. She is in our honors classes. She's also a part of our band, part of robotics. So she's also a multi-sport athlete. So it's very encouraging to see her out there and doing other things as well, besides playing football, which she does a great job at that too. What is it about football that made you want to play the game? I've just always been a little bit bigger than everybody else, a little bit stronger, so I figured I'd try something new. Because I'm better than y'all. Watching the game, it's not easy to tell that Isabella is not one of the guys until this moment right here. Then awesome. takes off the helmet and they're like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, that, that started last year. She take the helmet off and they're like, oh man, she's a girl. <laughs> Seventh grade boys. Yes. It's, 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 um, you can't believe the smiles and the faces they get. They can't tell I'm a girl until the end when people start saying that, oh, like, hey, Judy, and they're like, oh, that's a girl's name. I've come to the games. Parents from our neighborhood will come just to watch her. They don't have kids in school here, but they'll come. And then her friends will wear 79 on their cheek or draw it on their jeans or whatever, and they cheer her on, and they're screaming her name when she runs out. She's always having a smile on her face. No matter what the weather's like, she's always smiling and she's enjoying it. It's one of those things that it just brings joy to me to see that type of a student athlete that we have here at Bush Middle School. The support system is just as strong as Isabella, but we had to ask, will she be playing in high school? She mm. plays uh, percussion, so she plays drums, and you know, she's like, I wanna play football in high school maybe, and I said, okay, well, you gotta play football, and then you're gonna take off your helmet and run and go play the drums, so. We might have to start prioritizing in high school, but I told her I'm not putting any limits on you. I never do that for my children, so we're hoping to see what she picks for next year. One thing that's for sure, no matter what Isabella does, she's all in. Ever since she was two, I can do it. It's, it's a little bit scary at first, but I'm confident in our plays and my teammates to where I won't get hurt and I have fun. But you should do what makes you happy while you're able to. For Rest Day Live, I'm Jen Tobias Chesky.